This is a continuation of the first video where I tried to compare the positive and, positive and negative end of a DC static spark. So what I've done here is I've reversed um, the order of the diodes. So instead of this ball here being positive and this one being negative, this one is now positive and this one is negative. And we're gonna see what the difference is. So let me just turn it on to make sure it works and that we don't have anything blowing up. Here goes. Definitely works. And look what it's doing to the oil. The oil is going crazy, it's jumping around, it's going through all these kind of weird flowing motions at the high voltage end. So the oil just goes berserk. The uh, high voltage actually causes a lot of turbulence in the oil at the high voltage end of this voltage multiplier. Now I'm cranking it to the limit of the diodes. Wow, did you see the way those diodes just blew? Now let's compare positive with negative. Okay, now I've, what I've done here is I've doubled up the um, negative side on here and the positive side on here. So instead of 200,000 volts, we can now get 400,000 volts with this setup. So um, I've had some blown diodes because I've been over vaulting this thing. So I'm not gonna push it this time like I have been, but uh, let me just dem demonstrate it to you. I'm gonna turn down the lights so you can see this working much better. But I have my um, flyback transformer here, and this can put out 30 or 40 kilovolts. And you have to be really careful with these because it's very easy to, 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 to crank up the dial on the Variac and uh, just blow out your 20 kilovolt diodes. So I'm gonna try and stay reasonable with this thing. And uh, let's test it out. I've got a light here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna turn down the main lights and just show you what this looks like. And then we'll do some, um, some uh, long exposures to see what the sparks look like, to see if there's still a common pattern between positive and negative. And um, so uh, this side here is negative and this side here is positive. Here it goes. I've got to stay back from this thing because it could probably hit me. So some really long arcs there. So that's 400 kilovolts. So that's it, uh, 400 kilovolt setup, demonstrating what I showed you earlier even better, where you get um, a cluster of common discharge points on the uh, positive terminal, and you get kind of more random uh, uh, points of striking of the arcs on the negative terminal. So, uh, and also with the positive, if you noticed on some of those pictures I've taken, there's little uh, spots of corona discharge, and you never see that on the negative side. So that was kind of interesting to see as well. I'm happy you checked in on this channel and uh, uh, saw this video, it's kind of interesting. And uh, come back, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this stuff.